Evening all, welcome to Return to New Eden Part 2. Now today we're going to take a bit of a, well it's a bit of a hiatus away from our discussion of what to do as a rich, a rich veteran. And we're actually going to look at what the hell you do when you've got super capitals logged off in deep space. Now, there is deliberate misinformation being fed to you through your eyeballs right now. Through, for obvious reasons, I'm not going to show you you know, uh, where I am, what I'm doing, etc. Although you probably, you could probably just find me with an agent, but um, this was filmed um, currently, it was filmed previously, it was filmed a long time ago, it was filmed today, yesterday, tomorrow, next week. It's, it's deliberate misinformation. So there's a bit of a mismatch of, of, of footage here, but really today's topic is to talk about, well, capitals, super capitals, flying coffins, call them what you will. And um, it's interesting when you come back to Eve because you find yourself in a bit of a quandary when it comes to um, super capitals, because you know, in essence, they are probably the status, um, the ultimate status item, you know, item in the game, and they're probably also pretty much the pinnacle of your achievement in uh, Eve. There's probably more and better things, but I think Titans and certainly, well, Titans, I think have always remained, you know, phenomenally difficult things to get. Um, so hence why we're talking about them today. So the first thing, obviously, when you log on, is you've got a, I've got a fit on that is just so out of date. Um, this is actually quite old footage actually, but the fit is the same and um, it's been quite a challenge um, really figuring out what to do with these wonderful Titans because the reality is is that, you know, when you, I've left these logged off for probably about 18 months to, a, to two years um, and when you log back on, lots of things have changed in the game and lots of things obviously now lo no longer work the particular way. So, for example, my cargo hold was all messed up, so I was unable to actually walk which was fun, <laughs> I can tell you. Um, this is actually old footage I'm showing you here, but the first bits have all been spliced together. Um, and it's really just to show you that, to be honest, having these um, these, these kind of lead weights around your neck, um, it's a bit of an odd one. It's like walking around with an Oscar permanently tied to your bollocks because <laughs> it feels about as much use as well. Um, but then, you know, look at the beautiful thing. I remember building this thing. Let me tell you the story of me building this wonderful thing. This was way, way, way back. And we built this in, I think, a HZF. Or was it 9-9? I forget. In Detroit. Um, and it was happening pretty much when Bob were invading. And it was around that time. And, you know, everything was going a bit south. Um, and it was all a bit shit, to be honest. So, to be honest, the whole um, affair of these Titans has been very bittersweet. And I think certainly... I could never sell them. I get loads of people asking me to sell them. I've got Titan blueprints, all the capital blueprints as well. Um, and people tell me to sell them, um, but I just can't bring myself to do it. Um, anyway, we'll come back to that. So there we go. So obviously the new fleet, uh, new fleet, the new whatever that is called window, um, yeah, assets window. Obviously now you can sort of integrate and interact with your Titan in a bit better way. And what I was trying to do was really just move some of the modules and fittings around. Um, thankfully, having two Titans that can actually allow each other to re uh, to refit is quite cool, but it's just such a massive risk um, doing this. And obviously, you know. Oh, everything about it is so frustrating. Um, you know, to be honest, I, you know, as much as I love these things, I've got to admit that it's very difficult to see how and what to do with them once you've got them. It really is a bit of a pain. Um, you've got to feel them as well. Obviously, we the fit we used to run was very much around high damage turrets. I imagine that's probably not changed. I think, you know, way, way back. The air of effect doomsday was all the Titan needed, so you never even, I mean, fitting turrets to a Titan back then was comical. People used to take the mick if you did that. Um, but I think certainly now, obviously, you do need that. And I think things like a smart bomb, I've got an officer smart bomb fit um, somewhere. I don't know, is that a true dark blood? Okay, maybe on the other Titan, but, you know, just to keep things away from, from tackling you. But to be honest with you, it's a pretty bleak affair <laughs> um, if you're caught. Now, you know, way back when, moving these around was very easy, it was very simple, um, but sadly, you know, with the change to the way that log-off mechanics work, it just became very difficult. So, you know, for example, you have to obviously sit in space now. That I didn't know about. I wish somebody had told me about that when I logged my Titans back on. Um, I joke. I was kind of aware of it, but to be honest, I didn't really understand what the heck was going on with it. So, um, yeah, confused me a bit. Um, some f more old footage here that, you know, this is pretty much when I logged the Titans on last. This is just to sort of show you um, what I did. I did another video, which I think was relatively popular, which was just literally firing doomsdays at each other. 
Um, and people seem to think that I did that on the test server, but no, <laughs> I did that on the normal server because A, I'm rich and B, I'm stupid. So <laughs> it just, you know, I literally bored, sat waiting because this, this kind of stems from when um, we joined in the lights called Dark Therapy, which was the last, this was probably the last time I was in the game properly. And there was such a great bunch of guys, really cool, chilled, nice chaps, and it was really nice. But um, what I think um, happened is, you know, it just, it just didn't work out. It's a lot of work running an alliance, so I think sadly that just didn't work out. But what we did is we had systems in, in Quirious just all to our own. Um, and I'll show you just in a few moments some of the Titan work we did, because again, it's fascinating. People actually send me messages saying, can you just show me the Titan doing what it does? And I'm like, okay, <laughs> fine, okay, no problem. So um, more than happy to show you that. I think this is one of the draws of EVE. And I think certainly coming back to the game, I'm, you know, it, it's nice to have these things and I've got to think of something to do with them. But the reality is, is that they are, they are nice. It's nice to see them again. Um, and I think certainly, I mean, look at the fit on my Leviathan. Whew, I bet that's way out of date now. So post in the comments, laugh at me if you will, um, because I dread to think what I've got to buy to make this fit work. Um, but am I going to use them again? Hmm, probably not. Am I going to sell them? No. So yeah, they've just become a big trophy, really. Sort of a big sort of, I don't know, status symbol, sadly enough. Anyway, so I think certainly way back then and this was this was actually the last few moments of dark therapy so this is relatively older footage but um it was when i last logged the titans on before this time to actually move them away and um and we were actually building them at the time as well which was a shame um i think just as time goes on a lot of the big alliances sort of just i don't know they tend to crumble a lot of the bandwagons as well do um do change the way the game works so anyway, let's just fast forward now. This is a much smaller screen. This was me running 15 accounts. So each account was running very smallly. So it's like tiny, teeny, teeny, tiny screen. But on one screen, I've got my Titan and um, I'm running two Titans and I'm running, I think, six Raiders. And what I was doing was just jump bridging between the two. Now, to me, I've always been quite sort of ambivalent to the whole jump freighter thing um, but apparently people tell me they're fascinated with it you know the ability to do logistics with titans etc and to be fair we did set up the entirety of um, dark therapies logistics with just two titans um, because it was about three jumps to empire and with three jumps you can pretty much run a daisy chain of titan jump bridges so it was rather nice um, what was interesting <laughs> i think certainly from um, what we're doing there and as you can see this is very old footage because this is the old location we're in I'm not there now so don't go and invade it I'm not, not there and uh, we were just basically you know given a free reign really by the leaders of dark therapy just to do what we wanted so we um, we started to build some capitals titans etc and um, you know we had a lot of fun doing it um, but I must confess it's a lot of work and I think you know certainly if you've ever checked any of my other videos check out the super capital buildings one because that also shows you how we build these things and with 15 accounts you've got enough builder alts you've got enough market trading alts and so on that you can basically do what well, you can do anything really so um if you're going to build titans i think um it's a hell of a career i mean i i really do feel very privileged to have done it and it takes a lot of time <laughs> it takes a lot of effort but um you know the output is obviously i think at one point i had four four personal titans that was pretty awesome um, but again, what's the point of them? Really is none. And I think that's kind of the issue. And um, after a while, I mean, you, you burn out. And believe me, when you burn out building Titans, it's, it's a messy thing. So yeah, that's all I'll say on that. But it was not a pretty thing uh, to do. Um, but to be honest with you, I think it's a fascinating um, part of the game that so few people will ever get to. I think you could play this game as a very serious player. And never actually get even close to a Titan. You need to be, unfortunately, a bit of an industrialist, a bit of a capitalist, a bit of a bastard, um, quite a bit of a bastard, actually. And, um, you, you know, unless you're rich IRL and you're going to game time card it, um, these things take years of effort to get to. Plus, when you build them, my God, you've got to sit and defend it for three months. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty crazy as well. So there's a lot of effort goes into these things. So I think certainly you know titans i wanted to show them in my return because i think you know it's synonymous with me everything to do with me has always been linked to titans 
Um, but because we're doing our Return to Eve series, it seems a bit of a shame not to include them because obviously we're not really going to do anything that would require a Titan. So, um, yeah, a bit of a shame, really. Um, and you can see here we were just basically, you know, messing about, moving some freighters around. Um, to be honest, you know, a, an alliance without Titans is just a very strange thing because, you know, I couldn't imagine nowadays, <laughs> you know, that even being... Um, the possibility. I, I don't know. I really am so disconnected to the modern game. I, I couldn't tell you, but um, certainly I think, you know, I wanted to just do a quick, I guess, summary and recap of the Titans. Show them powering up one more time. I think just really show um, certainly, you know, what they um, what they do and what they kind of are capable of. And I think certainly for myself, it was mostly logistics, I'm afraid. You know, if you want to see other videos, I mean, my very first sort of three, four, five, six videos were all about Doomsdays, the original era of effect Doomsday, etc. So go and look at them. But <laughs> I think, you know, when we look at a return to Eve, you know, I think it makes sense to look at Titans. Now, fascinatingly enough, this was, I think, something that... Um, got us into any alliance in the game if we said to them we're a corp of like dudes and we've got two titans you're in okay we've got other stuff no no you're in titans yeah we want them. so our ability to infiltrate pretty much every alliance in the game from white noise to particularly goon swarm you know to test alliance to um dark therapy to you know uh ra to x death you know was so piss easy because we had titans and we had a lot of ults who we could pass them around so good stuff so there we go just a nice recap next time we're going to go to war we're going to go and do some pvp and we're going to go and beat the shit out of some people and see how viable that is so hope you enjoyed that and um we'll certainly carry on this series very soon hope you enjoyed that see you next time